Now, when is a case we call as a natural monopoly? Natural monopoly is when there are when your quantity is increasing, your average total cost is reducing. When there are large economy of scale, what is economy of scale? When you increase, when you increase the quantity, your average, your cost is reducing, reducing, reducing. Right. So the average cost reduces as more and more quantities produce. It makes sense that you have only a single producer. It supplies the entire market. Okay. If there are more than one firm, what will happen is the combined cost of the total firm will be more than one single firm and as a result it leads to inefficiency. So what we say is natural monopoly is when the quantity increases the average total cost it reduces. Right? So that's why the government so we know the deadweight loss is there okay? but why government provides monopoly to work because the average total cost can reduce. But note that government allows the monopoly but they regulate the monopoly. So the government they regulate the monopoly to improve the resource allocation they want the monopoly to reduce the prices so what are the different ways that the government can regulate the monopoly okay one way is to say that you should charge the price as per your average cost pricing that means the price is equal to your average total cost that means you the government will say that the price will be reduced where the average total cost it intersects the demand curve Right. So what they are saying is, so the price will be such that this average total cost, so wherever the average total cost is meeting the demand curve, you decrease the price. So it means that this will be the price. Note that if this is the price, the quantity is more. Right. So in this case, the firm is willing to supply. Okay. Only the thing is, his economic profit will be zero. Right. So if the average total cost becomes the price, okay. so remember economic profit, we said that equation was quantity into price minus your average total cost when your price becomes equal to the average total cost the economic profit is zero right but the firm will be able to supply so it, it is earning some accounting profit but no economic profit right so this is one case reduce the price where atc intersects okay so output increases the price decreases okay it increases the efficiency monopolist earns normal profit or accounting profit but he does not earn any economic profit so this is okay government can say this okay but government can be very very nasty also it can go and say that we will introduce marginal cost pricing now what is the marginal cost pricing the marginal cost pricing is when the marginal cost intersects the demand curve okay so when is the marginal cost intersecting the demand curve so this is the marginal cost intersecting the demand curve so this is the price so if this is a price so see this this is the quantity okay so this is their average total cost right so price is here so what we are saying is output increases the price decreases right so the monopolist it may incur the loss when the price is below atc please note that here in our diagram marginal cost is here okay. this is the price this is your quantity so here the monopolist is earning economic profit there is no problem however if let's say this is the demand curve let's say this is your average total cost curve this is your marginal cost curve okay right now what the government is saying that when the marginal cost is meeting the demand curve produce that quantity so this is the price this is a quantity that is being produced so when you are producing this quantity what is your total cost this is your average total cost right so your profit is equal to quantity into price minus average total cost but what you see is price is less than average total cost right so it means that your profit is less than zero you are suffering from a economic loss so this is your economic loss okay now a firm will not produce by suffering economic loss right so the firm should be given subsidy right so think about it in the railway the government gives subsidy right so the government provides subsidy to the railways in form of uh, some grant etc right so if you are charging them you have if you are asking them to price below their average total cost you have to grant them the subsidy so that is what we see output increases price decreases monopolist incurs the loss if the price is below the atc it needs government subsidy so that they can earn accounting profit or the normal profit 
right so this is the two pricing here it is okay here it is it may require subsidy right one more way is to sell the monopoly right to the highest bidder now think about what can what happened in the coal allocation right the coal allocation the government provided the coal block to some of the companies without bidding right now if you do the bidding and you provide the one to the highest bidder right so you are giving a monopoly right so think about in delhi reliance tata power is there so i can also go there if i can bid and i can say that i will provide the lowest price okay so highest bidder means lowest price bidder okay if i can provide the power at the lowest price i will get the bid right so i am a monopoly i am giving at the lowest price i am given a chance to supply to the customer so this is one more way right so there are three ways pricing mar- average cost pricing marginal cost pricing if the government cannot determine either of this then it can go for a bidding wherein the lowest price is it will give the right and this is what an example was this was your average total cost this is your marginal cost okay so if you are saying that marginal cost meets the demand curve so you have to give the subsidy so this is your loss right so which we have seen the diagram so this completes your reading number 3